Hi folks, I'm Richie Parks and first of all let me thank you for clicking on this video. It means the world to me that you guys are even here in the first place. Let me welcome you to this first video in a brand new YouTube channel I'm calling Wild Astro. Wild Astro is a project I've been working on throughout 2019 after deciding I really wanted to try and bring together my two hobbies of camping and astrophotography. I decided I wanted to get outside and wild camp just me and my camera. So what do I hope for from this project? Well, anyone out there who's perhaps thinking of wild camping, likes the look of it, likes the idea of getting out there, I hope you look at this and think, yeah, this guy can do it, so can I. Anyone interested in amateur photography, and I do mean amateur photography because I am by no means a professional, I hope you guys look at this and think, hey, wild camping's a great way to get me out there in the countryside to spend some quality time with the landscape. And finally, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you get some value out of what I've been doing. There's lots and lots of reasons I wanted to get out there and do something like this. Fitness, love of the outdoors, all sorts of things. And I really hope that what I love comes across in the videos you're gonna see. Right now, it's early August 2019, and I wanna show you my first ever wild camp attempt. So without further ado, this is me on the slopes of Kader Idris in Snowdonia. to give you a quick overview of what we're doing today, what the plan of action is and how we're getting to where we're going. Um, so here's the map. Okay, we are parked there, centre screen now. That is the Kader Idris Pony Path car park there. Okay, and what we're doing is we're following this path here, up, until we reach this major junction of ways here. And then we're gonna take a left and follow this dotted line around the base of the cliffs to Lini Gader. The plan is, where this little lump is in the side of the lake here, we're gonna just come around that and camp around about here, hopefully. And we'll see how that turns out when we get there. Could be windy. We might end up looking for an alternative campsite, but we'll crack on. Massive thanks to whoever funds and does the work on these paths. These are uh, seriously helpful, really, really good. Found the turn to the path, found the right left turn off the path. Uh, it wasn't very obvious. There is a sign for Linigadere, uh, but he seems to be on the wrong side of the stream. I don't know if I'm, if I am on the right path. I'm, I'm sure I am, I'm going in exactly the right direction. I'm hitting all the, all the points I would expect to hit. But um, yeah, the sign for Linigadere is just, it's a lump of wood in the ground off to the side of the path and it seems to be in the wrong place. I'm definitely on a path. I mean, here it is, it's quite clear, boggy in places, but there it goes off up that way. It is definitely a path. But either way, I've got a compass, I've got my map, I'll get there, I can see where I'm going. That's the main thing. At the moment, the cloud is not too low. I'm shooting for the gap between those two points that you can see there, the one that's disappeared in the cloud is, is Kader, and the near one, I forget the name of that, 
but the saddle sits between them and I'm heading for beneath the saddle to camp. So you can probably see I'm back in the car again. Um, the wind up there, you might be able to tell from that time lapse, was brutal. Uh, I got the tent up, I got in, I got everything, I got, I got my mats um, inflated, I got my sleeping bag out, I got everything out. And the wind just got worse and worse and worse. And I got out of the tent, gave, a, gave it a bit of thought, and decided, no, enough's enough. And I think it's a good job I did, because as I was putting the tent away, I found that one of the poles had already bent. So that's something I need to deal with before next time. But, I don't know whether it doesn't really constitute a review, but Van Gogh Banshee, not built for wind. <sighs> Better luck next time, Rich. See you again, guys. Take it easy. And that was that. Wild camping isn't all champagne and roses, folks. It doesn't go to plan every single time. I hope you enjoyed it, though. I certainly did, and I got a lot of experience from it that I could use to work on my next trip. After my trip to Kader Idris, I decided I'd stay a little bit closer to home on my next trip. I'll be bringing you that video really soon. My next video is based on an idea that was given to me by one of the great folks over at Wild Camping UK on Facebook. Take a look if you're interested in wild camping at all. One person suggested to me that being able to look at a map and find a wild camping spot was not only really difficult to do, but would also be very useful for newcomers to wild camping. So that's exactly what I'm going to teach you guys to do in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and consider subscribing to the channel. There's going to be lots more content coming your way, and I promise the video quality will get better as well. This is Richie Parks for Wild Astro. See you next time.